What a wonderful surprise today. I was only expecting one thing. Let's fucking open her up right now. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned because instead of using the postal or the, the parcel box, like they always do when I get movies, Today, Canada Post decided, ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just cram everything into the tiny little fucking metal box. And the package from Diabolic was a little bent. So hopefully the merchandise isn't fucked. If it is, I'm going to fucking lose it. But it looks unscathed. This here I thought was out of print and I was dreading having to spend eBay money on it because all those pricks on there were gouging the prices. And luckily Diabolic got their hands on a few more and threw them up on sale. And I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for my buddy Michael. So thanks, bruh. Here it is. Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead, limited edition collection by Arrow. Let's open this bitch up and see what we got. So stoked to have this in my collection now. This is my ultimate, second ultimate, sorry, zombie movie. First being Lucio Fulci's Zombie. So first we have what appears to be a rather large poster. Double-sided, sweet. dope and there's the other side also really dope I am running out of wall space pretty soon they're gonna have to start going on the ceiling we got a, a thick ass book that is in English which I am not used to it's a nice surprise I'll actually be able to read this one Yeah, look at that. Just beautiful. Oh, fuck yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Let's see, no stupid fucking security stickers opens right up. Fucking vinegar syndrome needs to take a note from that. And here's the the cover. We have, holy fuck. Yo, this artwork's fucking dope. I want that on a goddamn poster. Jesus. Oh, that is just fucking amazing. That part right there. That scene is why this is one of my favorite movies. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's kind of pukey. <laughs> Now we've got some lobby cards or postcards, whatever you want to call them. Let's see what we've got going here. Fuck. Now 
it's just advertising. <laughs> Looks like they're standing too close to someone who ate Taco Bell. These are so awesome. I guess I'm going frame shopping again soon. You never have too much stuff. <laughs> This scene, this scene was really awesome too. Oh. There's one unpackaging or unboxing. Not packaging, fucking idiot. And I'll just set this aside. So this second package, I have no idea what it is. But I am super stoked. This is from Corey Jordan. Corey D. Jordan. The Man Behind Chicken's Blood. The movie I reviewed a couple weeks ago. And... I guess you really dug it, Corey. Because you sent me something. This is fucking awesome. This, this made my fucking day. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Oh, hello. That is fucking awesome, man. Thank you so much. It's a fucking piece of the hospital gown from the movie. Oh my God. That. That's fucking dope. Oh my god. Thanks, Corey. I was not expecting this. This this is fucking awesome, man. I never thought that I'd be getting cool cool shit in the mail this early into starting my little reviews. That's dope. There's one, there's another reason why supporting the indies matters. You can give positive reviews to all these Hollywood movies. They're not going to give two shits about you. They don't give a fuck. They're just going to be like, cool, they're going to spend more money on me next time I release something. But the independents, the ones that give a shit about the art that they're making, when you support them, they support you and they they thank you and appreciate all of your input into horror and they actually take the time to talk to you and they don't act all high. a lot of them don't act all high and mighty on themselves there's a few cunts in the industry but there's going to be some no matter what fucking thing you're looking at but for most of the independents I've chatted with through Facebook Messenger or what have you, a lot of them have been really fucking cool. And that's why I love, love this scene, man. That's why I don't have a problem spending money on, on these cats during their Indiegogos and Kickstarters and all that. Just thanks again, Corey. Th this... This means a lot. I fucking love it. So that pretty much wraps up 
the unboxing today. It's fucking 10 minutes so far. I'm sure you're you're all sick of listening to me ramble. I'm going to... I took a look at my watch list so far of the year. I'm 52 movies in. And the review count doesn't match that. So I'm really going to start working harder to do more reviews spread the word out on lesser known movies hopefully a couple of you watch a flick that i recommend that you haven't seen before and we'll fucking make horror what it was once before Alrighty, guys i'll get off my soapbox now i i still can't believe this have a good night everyone stay sleazy